Hello there. Welcome, beautiful stars. Thank you very much for your presence here today. Hope you guys are very well. Thank you for your amazing support. As always, today's reading is everything they have to say to you. And um, we're going to use um, a bunch of message decks. You guys really like these videos um, where we're going to use message cards only. So if you don't really like message cards, you might not want to watch this reading. <laughs> um, if we have some time, I might do like a mini reading with some tarot cards at the end. Um, so I'll just see how the time's going. If not, it, I have a lot of message decks out here, so there might not really be um, time today, but we'll, we'll just see how it goes. Um, all right, so let's see what comes through from the person you would like to hear from. And uh, let's see like what they're feeling about you in the situation, what they're thinking, any insights we can get. So go with the pile that calls to you the most. We have four today. One is the black tourmaline. Two is the selenite. Hasn't been out here for a while. Three is lipidolite. I think it's been a while for this one too. Same with this one. And four is chrysoprase. Okay, so I will give you some time to pause the video if you would like to take your time choosing, and then I will see you at your pile. Thank you very much. Hello there, pile one, the black tourmaline. And I just got um, like the feeling that I should point out this little penguin here. I just love you. That might be a message for some of you. Okay, so our five cards to start off the reading. We have, I'm ready to tell you everything, vulnerable, 28. This is interesting because I swear just the other day we had a reading in pile one where the person really looked like they wanted to tell you something or talk about something. It was a, the biggest message coming through that pile. So this might be a lot of the same people in this pile here, picking up on a lot of the same situation. We have eight protection. I just want to keep you safe and warm. Fertile, 13, I want you to be the parent of my child. That's interesting. So that could also mean like they want to just keep things growing in a beautiful direction with you. Speaking of a beautiful growing direction, we have some flowers here. Forgiveness, 23, please forgive me. And then we have, I'm so tired of dancing alone. Depression, number 24. So maybe this person has had some time apart from you or before they met you. They just were not enjoying their life too much. And I feel like you've given them something to strive for um, toward their future. Like their future looks bright with you in it. So I feel like they're kind of getting the message that it's time to open up to you. Otherwise, you might start losing interest or, you know, because you think maybe they're not interested. So I do feel like they're getting the message that they need to open up to you. And they might even be saying sorry, you know, for not telling you sooner or just sorry I've been or some of them might be kind of depressed and they're just like, sorry, I haven't been, you know, more of what you need me to be. And this could be a literal message for some of you that they really do see having kids with you. We have um, some dates like August 13th, August 23rd, August 24th, 28th. Okay, so let's start getting some message cards here. Let's see what comes through here. What else is this person thinking about you, feeling about you? What do they most want you to know? What do they most want to say? What's their truth? What is their truth, pure truth in this situation with you, pile one? Okay, we have, I pretend like I'm not paying attention. I see everything. So this could be someone who has acted disinterested, but they're like, I'm sorry, I have a much deeper interest than I'm coming across with. We both need to heal first. These things take time, but it's worth the wait. So this does seem like someone who just wants us to be like a work in progress, something like growing something over time, because I do feel very fixed and stable energy here. I'm coming home, leave the light on. So for some of you, this might be a separation situation where you guys didn't really want to be apart, you know, like for work or something or some kind of family situation, some other like travel restriction, junk, something like that. And they're like, you know, as soon as I can, you know, I'm sorry, I'm going to make my way to, to you. Look at this. I hope we can make it work one day or at least have you in my life. I really do love you. So, yeah, that's cool. This person does want to find a way with you. Where there's a will, there's a way. That would be interesting. One of them might be named Will. All right, and then we also have, I love how much faith you have in me. No one has ever believed in me the way that you do. I treasure you more than you know. So I just heard some kind of like sappy love songs coming through with that card. So I feel some of them are definitely listening to music like that and thinking of you. 
I see you in my dreams. You're the last thing on my mind before I go to sleep. And the first thing in the morning when I wake up, you're my favorite obsession. This person is like dreaming you into reality. And I have lied to you and betrayed you. I was in a very dark space at that time. I'm doing much better now. I'm not the same person that you remember. So this will not be for all of you. But this could be why this forgiveness card is here. They're like, I really need your forgiveness. And I wish I could take back all the hurtful things I've said to you. I didn't mean them. I, yeah, I'm feeling like they're coming through in song here. It makes sense. We have a violin here as well. I just want you to be happy, even if that means without me in your life. So this person does have some genuine care for you because they just want to make sure you're having a safe and good life. Here is, this is sweet. You are part of my story. So here's some more like sentimental stuff coming through. This person is, uh, I, I would imagine we'd have some like six of cups here. This person just, I feel like they, they want to have this beautiful life with you and they can, it's like they can see growing old with you. I have a secret. This could be like a secret admirer thing, or this could be them wanting to open up about something that they haven't told you before. There's a lot they haven't opened up to you about. It doesn't have to be something scary or bad. I am watching you from afar. This could mean they are at a long distance. My feelings for you are growing. Wow, growth was definitely a part of this reading for sure. This is a theme because this is what I'm really getting from this fertile card here. You know, it's like, you know, this beautiful garden that's blooming, you know, like the Empress. You rock my world, another like music card kind of. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. All right, so then we have, I ran away. I was scared and I ran. And here's you drive me crazy. That could be why if they did run. <laughs> And you found out something about me. So maybe you did find out whatever the secret is. Or they were afraid that you were going to find out something about them and they ran. Or you were getting to know them too deeply and it was like they weren't ready to be vulner that vulnerable yet. Because they hadn't been that vulnerable with anyone. Or the last time, it was either that or the last time they were vulnerable. Like something really bad happened with that person. Like they got really badly hurt. I'm having wild thoughts about you. You drive me crazy. Oh my goodness. I'm talking about you to others. Yeah, this person can't contain themselves. This is someone who's very excited about the relationship with you because I've liked you for a really long time. So it is kind of like this um, amazing dream come true to them. All right, I just don't know how to act in a committed relationship. Yeah, I don't know how to be vulnerable. I have a lot of insecurities that are holding me back from reaching out to you. I'm working on myself to become more confident. Growing as a person. I'm ending things with someone else because I only want to be with you. Okay, that will be for some of you. I'm silent because my life is one big mess at the moment and I don't want to burden you or drag you down with me. I need to fix this first. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I haven't fully been there. They might want to even be like, they might want to even work on fixing their, their mood, their emotions, their mental state to be in their best energy for you. A lot of people don't want to bring in a like lower energy to someone else. Like they don't want to transfer that to you. Even if you're okay with that, it's like they, they just have a hard time being okay with that. They just want to bring you good energy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry again. This person wants to bring you like really nice solar energy. So that means like really happy, positive, cheerful, optimistic, strong. I'm letting you go because I love you. So that could be for some of you if you are moving on. Um, because this person, you know, they feel like you could do a lot better than them right now. Because they, they might not know when they're going to be ready. And I'm still desperately longing for you. That's why they're like listening to music, like sappy love songs and stuff. I'm keeping you my secret. Wow. So I have a secret could even mean you possibly. Or I have, yeah, I have a secret. I'm keeping, so secret is a big thing in this reading with this card. I miss the way we talked. I miss the way we walked. Do you trust me? So maybe someone, some of them did something to where they feel like they lost your trust. And thank you for being you. You're irreplaceable. 
I've looked up Twin Flames. Interesting. That that won't be for all of you, of course, but um, they could know that there's definitely something different and special about this connection. And so they've really been like racking their brain about what, why is this so different? Why do I feel so different? Like, what is it? What is the special thing? Because they feel like just on the surface, it doesn't look like anything would be so different and special, but just the way they feel is so different. You deserve everything the world has to offer. So this person really does like look up to you and sees you with a high regard. Talk to me from your soul. So here's vulnerability coming through again. This could be something where if you open up more to them, if they really see more of what you have to say, then they might be able to open up more as well. Here's I've checked on you. Yeah, this person is still very interested in you. Deeply interested. I wonder if you're happy without me. I'm afraid to contact you. Okay, so that's for those of you who are in a no contact situation. If you are talking to this person, they could be really scared to just open up more. Or maybe I'm afraid to touch you even. Because I don't know how you would react or I'm just trying to, you know, respect you, keep space. I'm not available. And then that's for some of you that could be their reason why they do hold back. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. All right, warmth. I miss you and your warmth. This is interesting. This card goes with this one to me. I just want to keep you safe and warm. Strong. I don't know if I'm as strong as you think I am. So they see you as like really strong. And they feel like they, they just feel bad that they, they're like, I, I don't know if I can be this perfect match for you. I don't know if I can live up to everything you deserve. Here's depressed again. Nothing matters anymore. I give up. So for a lot of them, they are battling something. Maybe it's just um, the separation between you two. It's very frustrating to them. So it might not necessarily be something else. And here's surrender. Can we forgive and forget? So some of them might just want this new start, clean slate with you. Depth, I want to give you more of me and I want more of you. So they want to go beneath the surface because um, I do feel like there just hasn't been maybe enough shared between you two yet. There's just so much that um, you each still can learn about each other. Wow, here's despise. I'm full of hate. I feel like this is hatred for some circumstances or some you know people maybe that have gone in the way of this connection or in their life or even for themselves. Um, and they're needing to work through that. Maybe they're just really mad at themselves. And we also have sorry again, please forgive me. So we have forgiveness coming through here twice. Wow, a lot of these cards matched up with these here. Okay, what else is going on in this situation? I'm not ready. That's why some of them are like, it's okay if you need to move on. And they don't really want you to but they're just trying to be in the right space for you. Here's you changed me. And I think you're amazing. Yep, like I said, this person does look up to you. Here's I'm listening to my intuition. So they could be learning how to, um, you know, follow some of their guidance rather than just doing what their logical mind tells them to do. So they are, you know, transforming in that way. That's why we had like, I've looked up twin flames because they're just, you've introduced them to a different side of life. Like I do feel like this is a very like rational kind of militaristic kind of person. And um, they're definitely getting in touch with their more like sensitive side, like feminine sensitive side. I'm coming back soon. I'm coming home. Home sweet home. I miss you all. And I'm so scared of change. Yeah, this could be a fairly you know, traditional person. You, come, you came on too strong and too fast, or this whole situation came on too strong and too fast. And, strong, and I don't know if I was strong enough to deal with it, to be everything you need me to be. 
I know you are the one and that scares me. I do feel like this person does have this adoration for you, like really feeling like you are perfect. They think you're so sweet and I'm sorry I've hurt you so many times or I'm sorry I've let you down. It makes me really mad at myself, makes me hate myself sometimes and I've never felt anything like this before. Here's maybe. So this is kind of like their depression where they feel kind of stuck in this gray area, this gray cloud area. I think this is like kind of their self-confidence sometimes being like, I don't know if I can do this. Maybe I can. So it's good that they're not in a completely negative space. I feel like they are trying to reach out for the light. I've never imagined so much perfection. Wow, this is interesting because like, yeah, I think I just said they really see you as just perfect. Perfect for them. Here's the Ace of Cups. So this person definitely has a lot of love for you. This is a lot of unspoken love. I feel like they don't really tell you that enough, just how, how many feelings they have for you. And I just want you all the time. Wow, it's like the Strength card. So um, let's see anything else about this card. Hmm. There's a lot of Leos in this pile for sure. And there is someone else. So this could be a complicating factor for some of you, but only take that if that resonates for your situation. Let's hold on my um, camera. I just got to adjust it. All right, there we go. Okay, let's get one more of these. Or maybe they think you're with someone else. Here's, I want you to choose. Yeah, they, they want to feel like chosen by you for sure. They want to know that you choose them above all others. Here's you matter, your opinion matters. So yeah, I feel like they like to know your opinion a lot. And here's, I am terrified. So this is maybe that's why they're like waiting for you to take some action or something because they don't want to be totally rejected. They really want to know like what you're feeling and thinking. Okay, let's see what else. These are like advice cards, but I'm going to see what comes through as messages. Here's wait for more information. Yeah, they're waiting for information from you. They might just be seeing how things play out. Choose compassion in the situation. So yeah, I feel like they're like, please have mercy because of all this. Like, please forgive me. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And then... um. If you guys remember Uncle Jesse from Full House, just that they're saying have mercy because they just are so attracted to you. Okay, this one fell on the floor. Oh, that's nice. The angels are with you. So they, they like see you as just touched by angels. And this could be encouragement here as well. Just being like you can pray for divine protection over each other and this connection. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we have a little bit of time just for a few more cards here. So I'm going to just get a few tarot cards on what exactly, what is this person's overall feelings about pile one? The page of swords. This is someone just watching, watching and waiting, waiting for more information, trying to understand things. So they could be silent, but they're still like, just wanting to know what's going on with you. Here's the Eight of Cups. I do feel this is long distance, some kind of separation where one or both of you have had to walk away and um, they have been trying to stay not too emotionally involved because it, it does like hurt if you guys aren't able to be like totally together right now. It really does hurt to feel how much they feel for you. Wow, because they feel a lot. Here's the sun. I'm not surprised the sun is coming through again. So this is just to be like, no matter what's going on, it's like they really feel a lot for you. They really love you. You bring them a lot of happiness. Um, you stand out above so many others. All right. So let's look at what might you expect from them in the near future? Anything? Let's see. Here's the three of cups. This might be some kind of uh, reunion or just picking you out on a date, just being able to celebrate together. Maybe just progressing a friendship for now if you guys aren't, aren't actually together yet. Page of Wands, they could be reaching out to ask you out for sure, like, or re-sparking some connection if you guys have had a break. And here's the Four of Cups. Yeah, this could be um, sparking something back up again after 
Um, I feel like they they feel they need to improve their mood first. This is could be a card of depression here, but it looks like they could be powering up to get some more confidence to um, you know reach out and like ask you out. Okay, I think that's all I have for you, pile one. So I really appreciate you guys being here, and um, I hope I get to see you again very very soon. Thank you so much. Take care, you guys. Bye bye. Hey there, pile two, the selenite. Thank you for being here. So let's see overall. What your person's thinking, feeling about you, what um, what they most want to express. Hold on, my phone's ringing. I'm going to go turn it off. All right, pile two. Sorry about that. That was Jordan of Jordan's Tarot calling. <laughs> okay, so let's see. What does your person have to say? What would they say if we could remove the blocks to communicating with you? What's their truth in the situation? So we have five humor. I love how you can always make me laugh. So that's lovely. We have thank you for being you, my light in the darkness. Three, illuminate. We have 29, impatient. I can't wait. Then we have I'm so cold without you, warmth. And then here's 38, karma. What have we done? Okay, so this person really likes you. I can see that for sure with like how much you brighten up their life and you make them laugh. So if you have humor in a connection, that's a big deal. That's a big thing that a lot of people look for in a relationship because that's something that can last a lifetime. So this person, they have a lot of passion for you as well. They just really, really enjoy being around you. This is someone you make them feel very, very good. Um, it's strange here because we have all this like warmth and this fire here, but then all of a sudden things got very cold and just shut down. So I almost feel like you guys are like isolated like apart from each other like against your own will like against what you guys want so we'll get some more cards to clarify because i'm not really feeling like a lot of um karma coming through the situation um i'm not feeling like you guys like really mess things up a lot so but we'll see what the other cards say because pile one was a like a separation situation for various reasons and this seems kind of like a continuation of pile one in some ways like a lot of the same themes but this person is like more ready for this relationship I feel so they could be like I'm ready now pile one was like I'm not ready let's see here And here's, wow, you will be my spouse. So yes, that's very freaking forward, you guys. Um, I, so I feel like this person knows that they want you because they, they've noticed like what it feels like without you. It doesn't feel good. This could be some karma they're wrapping up right now, something they're breaking free of. Let's go away and start over somewhere new. Yeah, let's like end this old cycle here. Do you love me? Do you love me enough to do this with me? Even this card, this warmth, I'm so cold without you card, feels kind of sweet to me. I mean, because they're like kissing in the snow. So it still seems like really romantic. Um, December 29th could be a date for some of you. And here soon. Whoa, yeah. This person's like, let's get the show on the road. This person feels very dramatic. Like, in a good way. Like, like they're a performer. Performer very showy. I will make it right. Yeah, they really want to take action. So a lot of the, them are Aries here is what I feel. I miss holding you because there's a lot of like um, Mars energy. We had tons of Leo energy coming through the last pile. So more fire continuing in this one. You were or you are the best thing in my life. So this person does realize this now. So this is a very nice, fun, it's kind of like a bubbly, fun reading for so far. Oh, one of the nicest cards in this deck. I love you unconditionally. You are like the sun, moon, and stars for me. And why the heck did I just hear the um, Who Let the Dogs Out song? So I don't know. Maybe someone has like a ringtone with that or something. Um, I hide behind material things. I feel like this person wants to provide you with a lot of like nice material things, like a nice... Just a nice world is what they want to build a nice world for you. Nice surroundings. I wish I could share my good news with you. This could be the thing, like maybe if you guys aren't able to talk all the time, they're just really wanting to be able to tell you every good little thing that happens in their life. Um, or this could also just mean that anytime something good happens to them, they want to, you're like the first person they want to tell. 
and that could be some like a uh, one way they realize that they want more with you is because they have seen that you know you're like their primary their go-to person transformed i'm not the same person anymore so this person could really be working hard on themselves interesting we have like two um cards with like abs on them so some of them could really just be working hard in the gym too um here's manipulation i know what you want um for those of you where there's not really anything like dark or shady like in this connection or around this connection i feel like this card can mean um, like they want to know everything you want so they can provide it for you. And here is weak. I'm about to break. So this could even be someone that they're with and they're ready to like break the chains with. Like someone that has not been good. Like, yeah, look at this. I, I can't break out of these illusions, but I'm ready to. I am. Yeah, look at this. I'm ready to break out. I'm, I don't want to stay stuck anymore. So this is like their old limited self and now they're stepping into this more like super powered superman superwoman self i've made a fool of myself foolish up to this point and here's focus i know what i want and i can't stop until i have it so this person does seem very determined to have a new life with you here's telepathic communication to me, this um, often indicates just lots and lots of thoughts of you all the time. You have lots of thoughts of them. And so it's like you guys are there even when you're physically separate. You're like you have a presence in each other's lives. You have a very real presence. So they feel like they want to be in constant communication with you and build a legacy together. That's nice. I do feel like this person really wants a life with you. And I feel you energetically. Wow, that's exactly what I was just feeling here, you guys, where they just like feel you with them. I'll choose you in a heartbeat over and over again. I love that card. So they very much know they want you. This is an easy choice for them, I feel. It's like hardly even a choice. And here is, I wish I could erase you from my mind. It's impossible to live like this. So this is another card where they're like, you're constantly in their mind. Um, I don't know why I keep denying my feelings. And I want to look into your eyes and get lost in your soul. So this person does have like this softer romantic side to them. And I've never opened myself up to anyone before like I have with you. So they're like, you should be lucky. <laughs> I feel frustrated with myself. Some, yeah, some of them like just have a lot of confidence. I feel frustrated with myself because I'm afraid that you are going to be the one that got away. I wish I had the courage to come back for you, but I just don't feel ready. I need more healing time first. So that could be for those of you where this person is working on breaking out of the situation they feel stuck in. Oops, you are the only one who gets me and knows the real me. So there is this feeling of a uh, sense of safety with you. And this card's wanting to come off the deck as well. I was hoping that ignoring you would vanquish my feelings for you, but it didn't work. I realize now more than ever how much you really mean to me. So this could be someone where you guys, um, you know, had some time apart and um, it's just like, wow, you know, there was such a lack they felt in their life. I'm hurting and I'm upset with you. And are we still friends? Some of them are worried that there was a rift here. Sure looks like they still want to be friends with you or lovers, whichever one it is. And you help me to see clearly. It's like they feel like they need you. Um, you are like their eyes for sure. I feel safe with you. Yeah, it's like you help guide me. So it'd be interesting if um for a few of you this person if this person's blind possibly like actually blind that's never come through a reading before i feel you are unpredictable and i feel like they like this about you because it keeps things interesting i have a hard time communicating and i'm very attracted to you 
Here's I heard something about you. And wow, this is in reverse. Stay away from me. So maybe for a while they felt like they needed some space, but now they're like, I take it back. And no, I take it back for sure. They're like, I want to find my way back to you. This journey was never easy, but it was worth it. And I don't regret any second of it. I love you so much. It hurts. And they're saying, gosh darn it, please believe me. I have nothing to offer you except my love. I just don't know if that will be enough. I feel unworthy and very insecure. I will come back to you one day and I will fight for this love. This person does feel like a fighter. They feel like just like they, they don't care what the odds are that are against you. They don't care the obstacles. I'm sorry that I can't be what you need. You deserve someone who is worthy of your love. Oops. Hold on, you guys. I just kind of dropped this deck. Let me just set it down over here. Okay. Here's I've cried over you. Wow. So this is like hinting at this more sensitive side. I feel like this is someone who definitely would only cry in private. I feel like they don't want to cry in front of you or others, really. And no one makes me feel the way you do. And now is not the right time. This is interesting because it felt like so much like this person is ready. Um, and now it's like, and they feel so confident, but then it, I feel like they're going through these periods where Sometimes they just feel, yeah, they feel weak and they feel like, I don't know how to make this work. And I feel like they alternate between like, wow, like they're being on top of the world. So like a lot of mood swings here and then just feeling like, how are we going to make this work? You know, the timing seems off or something. And I want to tell you the truth. So I feel like they just want to like tell you everything that's on their heart and mind. Here's I understand you now. I feel like they're working very hard to, um, to see like what you need and want in life. They really want to fulfill like your desires and just be really good to you. Yeah, like um, I know what you want. I understand you or I want to know what you want. I want to be everything for you. I feel unworthy of your love. Wow, a couple cards of being unworthy. But you might not guess that. There are other things going on in my life right now. And here's I've never met anyone like you. So they are very excited by you. I'm addicted to your love and attention. And I wake up in the middle of the night and I feel so sad when I realize you are not here. This is like, I feel like this is a class clown type person. Yeah, wow, we even have humor coming out first where this is someone who likes to make others laugh a lot and um, they look like they're in a good mood and they're happy and they're funny and but then they like go home and cry about everything. Because, you know, the laughter, because they're like, if I don't laugh, then I'll just cry. Because laughter and crying are like the same thing, actually. They just, you know, have different feelings behind them. But it's like the same, like, physiological thing in the body. Um, I love unraveling the mystery that is you. And I promise I am working on fixing this. I could be your hero, baby. Wow, yeah, this is so much confidence here. This person, they want to win you over. They want to win the day. They want to have victory here. This is the Six of Wands card. This person wants to just really, they want you to look up to them. They want you to be, they want to be number one in your life. They want to outshine everyone else in your life. And I need more time. So they, they do feel like they need more time to make some kind of transformation, maybe some kind of body transformation.
And now is not the time. Interesting. Yeah, this is this is so funny because it's like they they do want this now, but they feel like practically it might not be the time. But the, their desire is now. Your strength, ego. Wow. Of course, this came through because I'm just really feeling this is a very strong and powerful person. Like overwhelming. Like they really. This is someone who can really outshine lots of people. Here's no. Wow. Again, like this is a very, very strong word, strong card. So I guess that I just feel like this is um, really just showing how much um, power this person has behind them. Just how much they're willing to, how much I feel like they're willing to really put so much energy into making this happen with you. And maybe some of them are just like having to just set strong boundaries and have to tell themselves no right now, even though they want it. And here's I am coming, trust. It's very interesting. So it's like we need to get through this rough spot and then everything's going to be, and then the waves are going to part. Things are going to clear and we will have this path to each other. Ace of Swords, wow, a clear path to one another. Something is going to be cut through. Interesting. Okay. Um, just a few of these cards as well. Here's yes. Oh my gosh, we have no, and then we have yes. Big yes. Ace of Swords, that's like a yes as well. And close one door to open another. So this could be why this no comes out, so that they can have some time to close this door and then jump into the yes with you. And another yes. <laughs> yes, this is part of your destiny. This could also mean like they're not going to take no for an answer. Like, I mean, um, with with all the obstacles, like if obstacles and other people are trying to say, no, you can't have this. They're not going to take no for an answer. Here's the key to success is positivity. So it's almost like they want to be blindly positive about this. Okay, so let's now get you like a mini reading on how is this person feeling about you? What are their overall feelings about you? King of Cups. This one, this, this card signifies that they have some deep feelings for you. They really care about you. This is a sensitive side that I was feeling where it's like they can just cry about you behind closed doors. Or just cry about a lot. Cry about the whole world. They're not laughing, they're crying. Here's four of wands, wow. Okay, another pretty card. And the four of swords, I'm not ready. So they're like, I, I do, it's like I wanna marry you kind of thing, but we need we need time to heal something. We need time to think this through. We need like this incubation period. Okay, I think this card wants to come out as well. And then we have death. So there need, yeah, there needs to be some time where we maybe have to ourselves to go through this deep transformation to close one door to open this new door to our destiny with each other here it is pretty scary they are they are scared of having to go through this major change this could be like moving somewhere even especially if you guys are like in different countries that's a very big deal okay so like death of life as they knew it all right, what might you expect from them in the near future, like the next month or so? Here is judgment. So they might have some kind of wake up call. Just some more clarity. Well, wow, okay, we have a lot coming out here. Um, the Six of Cups. So they're gonna be getting more in touch with their feelings. They're gonna understand their feelings for you more. The Ten of Coins. Maybe just how much they want to settle down and commit with you. The three of wands. I, yeah, I do feel like they're getting clarity on the future. Like really trying to maybe plan out how they're going to approach you more. How you guys are going to keep growing this together. Whoa, ace of coins. This person feels very, very positive about the future with you. They're trying to continue to up their confidence. Here's the nine of coins. Learn how to stand on their own some more. So, um... Yeah, I just feel like this is like major, they're, they're hitting like a major turning point where, and they're 
like really picturing this new life with you. Like they're ready for a new life for sure. Going from death to judgment. This is a higher octave of the death card. So I feel like they're going to be feeling more positive about going through this transformation before they were just like being assaulted by shadows. I feel, and now they're like reaching out for the light and being able to just be okay with how things are and look forward to the future with you. Okay, that's interesting. All right, pile two. I think that's all I have for you. So um, I hope I get to see you again soon. Please take care. Bye-bye. Hello there, pile three, the Lepido light. Thank you very much for being here. So how is this person thinking, feeling about you? What might they say to you if we could remove their blocks to communication? Okay, so we have eight ascending. We have a special purpose, my love. So this person might be really feeling like they're getting closer to you. Like things are leveling up between you two. They could be ready to take things to the next level with you. They do see that this is an extremely special connection with you. And they do feel like you guys have this mission or purpose to fulfill in this world together. Wow, this is beautiful. We have like two of cups, marry me, wifey material fulfillment. So um, this could be for some of you that are really thinking about actually asking um, to marry you. That might be like taking this to the next level together. So I feel like some of them could be envisioning um, this life with you. Just They just want to take you by the hand. And this is interesting. We have another like divine partnership card here, 17 twin flame. You are my other half. So okay they recognize definitely a beautiful soul connection between you here and here's this time has taught me so much separation number 24 so a lot of you guys could be in separation with this person but it's really helping them to really see clearly just um, who you are because they're if you guys don't have like a physical presence together all the time it's helping them to understand like how deep their feelings are for you because there's no um, like physical body interference. And here's, I've been watching you, 43 jealousy. This person like constantly has their eyes on you. They might be jealous about someone, something, especially if you are with someone else right now, because some of them maybe let you go. I regret letting you go, 30, moving on. So that could be for some of you, like maybe you're in separation because they really did try to move on from this. Um, Other of you, I don't really feel necessarily they have moved on. This could be more like maybe they were, they were kind of trying to move on, trying to maybe feel less for you because it was such an intense connection. I mean, we have like three cards in a row here of just like a very intense magnetism between two people. And then as the final card, we have yet one more um, card with silhouettes on it here. And this is like a very tight embrace, like a very tight hug. 36 shocking. I'm amazed by your beauty. So they are just shocked by just how beautiful you are on the inside and the outside so this is how they like just know that you're you, their other half because they've never found anyone to be more beautiful than you inside and out and so this could be even if they didn't let you go this could be regretting anything where maybe they tried to distance themselves um, make you think that they didn't like you as much as they did or do something like this but they actually really do they are maybe shocked speechless um and they, they love watching you. They love having their eyes on you all the time. This could be someone who gets jealous very easily. So they have really tried to like overcompensate by maybe making you feel like, oh yeah, you're just like all the others, you know. Um, so yeah, I do feel like they try to downplay the connection to some degree because otherwise it becomes very overwhelming and they might get really like possessive in a way and they don't want to do that. Like maybe they feel like they don't have the right to do that right now if you guys aren't actually together. And here's I admire you. Wow, yes, definitely. A lot of admiration for you. I need space. Yeah, this this could be what this moving on card represents as well. They do need a lot of time to themselves, a lot of space to themselves because um, you know they need time to like recover. Like they overdose on your energy kind of thing. And you taught me so much or you are teaching me so much. And look, wow, yeah, this time has taught me so much. Interesting. I miss holding you or I want to hold you. I want to hug you. They're going to be really longing for this. And your energy seduces me. Wow. Here's see you soon.
And I'm sorry I hide my emotions. I'm sorry I hide a lot from you. Then here's I miss your body. So this is like two cards of I, like I miss something physical with you. Especially if you guys haven't met together in person. It's like they are really feeling like the lack of you in their life. I lost myself for a little while. Wow. Yes, I regret letting you go. So they they were still they were feeling so much in this connection that they had to kind of like pull out and just like, oh my gosh, I need space. I need a breather. This is like too much. And I regret lying to you. So some of them could have lied about um, maybe that they didn't feel as much for you as they really do. Wow, so two cards here, I regret, I regret. I wish things could be different. And this is a regret as well. And here's I hid who I really am from you or I have been hiding how I really feel. And then I just split the deck. We have, we will be together again. This person does believe that there is something more here that, you know, you guys have just gotten started and this connection just is really going somewhere. Here's your strength inspires me. So yeah, again, this person looks up to you. This is why they really want you in their life and they feel you're so special because they feel like you help them to improve themselves. Here's anger. There's a burning rage inside of me. This person does have like a lot of um, fire inside of them. So again, this is why they could give themselves a space as well because they are trying to like constructively deal with their emotions, especially if they have any like deeper emotional issues because we also have this jealousy card here. So this is someone who's trying to be very responsible with their like intense emotions. And here's broken. I don't know how to fix the pain in my heart. They still have something from their past they need to heal from. And here's dark. I'm afraid you're not going to want to want me if you see the truth. So we also had a hid who I really am from you. We have love. I'm so madly in love with you. So this person is still afraid to like just totally open up to you. Like they, they really feel like there's you're going to find something you're going to all of a sudden think like mm, you're not good enough for me or I don't know if I want this anymore. And here's working. I'm just really busy working. So this person does put a lot of time and effort into improving themselves. And um, I feel a lot of times like if they aren't contacting you as often, it, it really is because they are they're getting down to work you know they're not out there trying to go find someone else or talking to a bunch of other people anything like this so I do feel like when they withdraw it is to try to either one deal with like some like pain that they still have um, from their past maybe anger from their past like intense emotions that they're shielding you from you know, trying to heal this, all this darkness. They, they might feel like they have a really dark side to them, but again, that they've really, they've really dealt with it like appropriately though. And so it's either this, they're either dealing with their issues or they are like working super hard because they feel a little behind in life, especially compared to you. Just a bit more time, you know, they're like, I need a bit more time to level up. I need a bit more time to make sure I feel safe to open up with you. I need some time to work through my issues. I need to make sure this is really going to last. Here's twin flame, eternal love. Wow. We have, um, two twin flame cards here. So yeah, I just feel like this is like something where you guys like can't get tired <laughs> of one another. They do feel like they've loved you forever and like they always will. It's a very different type of love for them. And I'm dreaming you into reality. I see you in my dreams. I definitely see a future for us, something beautiful. Here's addictions. So again, there's some kind of struggle that they are working through. And the addictions could also just mean like they, they did become very addicted to you. So they had to kind of push you away a bit, separate themselves somewhat. This could also mean they have a situation they need to break free from that they're working hard at. Because they do want a new beginning with you here. This is being divinely guided. All right. And then we, oh, this is nice. I feel safe with you. So they do feel like they can open up to, with you as much as possible, but there's still just stuff that 
kind of dis uh, disturbs them from their past and they, they're very careful um, they don't they don't want to take things they don't want to go too fast and then risk screwing something screwing something up with you because you are so special to me that's so sweet And you are my soulmate. Wow, deep recognition here of that for sure. And here's I feel you with me. So, um, yeah, the, I, there's like not a day that goes by that you're not on this person's mind and in their heart and just in their energy field and just they're just longing for you and desiring you. Let me get a couple more from here. Okay, we have I feel like you would be better off without me. This person does have these like self-esteem issues. This is, some, this is why they want to kind of take things slow as well because they want to make sure you're not going to change your mind. They could be pretty decided on you, but they're afraid like you're not decided on them enough or maybe they think you are, but they're like, well, you could change your mind any day. And you have ignited a fire within me, a burning passion, wanting to do more. And my painful past still haunts me. Wow, that was definitely a thing coming up here. So again, when they pull away, when they need some time and space, it is because they are still healing and processing their past. Many people are, but they could have a particularly difficult traumatic one that has nothing to do with you. And here's my love for you scares me because, yeah, they're like, this thing can hurt a lot. So they're being very cautious. And I don't want to give you up, but I think I should so you can be happy. They are very concerned about your happiness because we have like, I feel like you would be better off without me. So um, maybe some of them let you go because of this. But again, they want, they don't want to let you go really. So those of you still with them, I feel like they're, they're wanting to make sure, for sure, for sure that they can continue to make you happy day after day. And that this isn't just some like short term like fling like you know just oh it's so great at first and then it just you're miserable with them or something. And I'm not ready to be with you yet. I still have a lot of work to do. I'm really busy working. I gotta go go go. And no other has ever touched my heart the way you did. Wow. And I tried to forget you. Yep. I tried to. I tried to. I lost myself for a little while. I tried to let you go. But I couldn't. And they've always known that, like, they just really don't want to lose you. They know that life is just, like, so much better with you. And I'm so mad at you, and yet I'm so in love with you. Maybe some of you guys did have some kind of argument here because we have the anger card as well. But it's, like, that has not, definitely not erased their feelings and their love for you. So they know that this is real. And, wow, another card about my, pain, my past. Um, and these are from two different authors here. My past haunts me. I need to let go of the old before I can make room for something new. So they are just really haunted still. So this is like a painful past. Plus, maybe they're in a situation right now that they need to break free from. A lot of negative beliefs they need to break free from. And here is, if moving on makes you happy, I wish you nothing but the best. I'll feel pain and regret, but I want you to have love. So... Maybe some of them told you to like go find someone else even and they don't they didn't like saying that but I feel like they were trying to be like genuinely loving and selfless. And here is I kept my feelings for you a secret because I was afraid of being judged. You were my best kept secret. Here's even though I did not tell you this before and I might never get the guts to say this to you but I do love you. I know that we have unfinished business to take care of, but I have family issues that I need to clear first. And this, again, could be just like their past family issues. And you made me realize that I want to do things better. I'm working on myself because of you. I'm working harder on myself because of you. I want to be, I want to be your perfect match and I want to be on your level. And I'm emotionally unavailable. So I do feel like they've tried to kind of like cut themselves off emotionally somewhat. And because I'm still healing. So 
Yeah, I feel like they're afraid to let you too close because they don't want to like pull you down into their darkness. They have to be okay with getting close enough to you. And I am seeking revenge. Wow. So this could be just, this could be how bad their past was that, you know, they're, they're, some people hurt them so much that they just felt like taking revenge. And I feel like there's too much competition. There also is this like intimidation around you as well. Like they feel, you know, so many people could maybe be better for you. I see you and everyone I meet. You are constantly running through my mind and heart. Here's, I wish I could be brave and tell you and, that I still love you and that I do want you in my life forever. Wow, that's sweet. And I know that you think that I've moved on, but the truth is that I can't get you out of my mind and heart. I still love you so much. Wow. And yeah, like two cards about being being in their mind and heart, two cards about loving you. From the very first moment that I looked into your eyes, I know I knew that we belong together like yin and yang. And I'm awakening to the spiritual connection. Everything is starting to make sense. I feel relieved and ex also excited for what is yet to come. And here it is. I'm going through a difficult time right now. I'm healing my issues and slowly becoming the person you deserve. I want to do this right. That is why I'm taking my time. I feel like this is a big theme of this reading here. Because this person, they're like, I don't want to mess things up this time. I really, really don't want to go too fast. And then we just both get totally destroyed and heartbroken by this. You are so special and sweet and perfect that I, I can't risk losing you. So we need to... Um, you know, start from a very, you know, solid, clear, clean foundation. And here's, I'm fantasizing about you. You still take my breath away and you're the only one who can turn me on like that. Okay, oops. I'm still healing wounds from a past relationship or just in general from the past. And here is, I never expected to feel this way about you. I did not expect to fall in love with you. And, but they find it very sweet. They like it. And you're so different than, well, I like it. Wow. You're so different than what I'm used to, but I like it. And everything I do, I do for our future. So, wow, they are, they are working on building up a future for you. And here's, I can feel you pulling away. Have you moved on? They are very afraid that, um, if they don't say more, they don't do more, that you, you might just move on from them one day, like soon. I fantasize about you all the time. Nobody knows how to seduce me like you. <laughs> the second card about fantasizing about you. I miss everything about you. I feel the lack of you in my life all the time. So it could be on the days that you don't hear from this person or you're not connecting, they are missing you. And I promise I'm working on fixing this. I promise I'm working on getting better, making this work. I will always love you. This person feels like they've always loved you. This is very special soul connection that they, they're very aware of. Here is you have so many choices and options. Again, this person is so concerned about just wow you can have anyone kind of thing they're like what why do you want me like am i good enough for you here's the ace of wands they want you <laughs> they're very attracted to you very excited by you if i asked you to stay would you leave this is why they're afraid of opening up as well they're very um insecure very scared that that's going to change the dynamics if they open up to you and you might just move on. Like they're really afraid you're just going to move on. Okay, we have I meant what I said. This was this actually came up came out upside down, so I almost feel like it's like there was something that they didn't actually mean. And you are wrong. Interesting. So Maybe you guys have been having some kind of worries about like, you know, they don't think that like you, maybe you're mirroring them feeling like you're not good enough for them 
or you feel like they don't like you enough, they're not interested or attracted to you enough, and this could be coming through to be like, you are totally wrong about that. I'm totally into you. You're, yeah, I'm absolutely in love with you as a clarification. And I would do anything for you. Oh my gosh, that, gosh, that's so beautiful. And then I want you as well. Well, that came through very strongly. Yeah, I feel like they're very, very strongly getting that message across here. They're like, I do want you. I do love you. I would do anything for you. You met someone very important on your path, so they know that you are so, so important on their life path. And don't give up. So I feel like they don't want to give up on this, and they're just like, please don't give up on me either. And step out into the spotlight. So this could be also them saying, please don't give up on your dreams. And if you're doing some kind of performance or something, we're going to do, like, go public with something. Don't let others stand in your way. Yeah, because they really think you're perfect the way you are. And advice is coming through a friend. Okay, interesting. One more card. They could be um, talking to their friends about this. Or maybe they're just like observing something with their friends. Or their friends are going to like say something that's going to maybe trigger something in them to um, want to make like another move in this connection. Will you choose me? Wow. Okay, so yeah, this person, I feel like they want to get vulnerable with you. They really want to be sure that you will choose them before they open up more. Okay, so how is this person feeling about you? How exactly are they feeling about you? Here's the wheel. They feel like this is, yeah, hugely destined. Very, You're very important in their life. Okay, so they feel like they cannot ignore this. Like, there's nothing they can do to stop this now. Here's the fool. So this is someone, you know, you make them feel alive again. And, like, they want to take this new start with you. Like, they, they want to take risks to make this work. Wow, here's temperance. So, interesting. But they're like... We need to do this when it feels right. So I feel like they, they want to just keep blending, harmonizing with you. Um, they totally just want to take this slow over time and just let you guys like naturally and, you know, naturally according to the divine plan, you know, um, to, to just merge your lives together more and more. They, they are definitely ready for a new life with you. Okay, what might you expect from them in the near future, like the next month or so? Here's the five of coins. This person does feel kind of down about themselves. Like they feel disempowered for some reason. Here's the page of cups. But they might be kind of flirty and affectionate with you still. But I feel like this is why they aren't making like any big grand gestures because of this um, feeling like they don't have enough to offer right now. Here's the two of wands. And let's see this one. It's the queen of cups. Hmm. All right, this person just really feels your your draw. It, wow, the Knight of Cups as well. Interesting. Okay, I feel like maybe they are going to be starting to think about, um, like make a decision about when they can reveal more of their feelings to you. They might be opening up just a little bit more. You know, like the gates are opening to that. But I feel like the main reason they aren't opening up more is just because they just feel so low about themselves right now. Um, a few of them could be in a marriage as well, so that they're, they are working to, um, to come out of because it just hasn't been fulfilling for a very long time, maybe for either people in the marriage. Okay. Um, so yeah, this person, I feel like they're going to be falling more deeply, more and more deeply in love with you because it's, it's your kindness and your sweetness. So definitely they have the, their eyes on you. They have affection for you, but I feel like they're going to be feeling the romance even more with you. So that is like making them decide on taking a new path in life. 
So they, they really are seeing that this is a new opportunity available for them. They, they want to take it. Okay, so I think that's all I have for you, Pile 3. Thank you so much for joining me here today. And I just saw 444 on my timer here. Um, I wish you guys all the best. Hope to see you soon. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye. Hello there, Pile 4, the Chrysler Price. Thank you so much for being here. So let's see, what is your person's truth in this connection? How are they thinking and feeling after we remove some blocks to communication? Here's partnership. It's always been you. This is kind of like the Two of Cups. I wanted you the moment I saw you. 26 seduction. Wow. Lots of twos here. We have 22 unbridled. Your spirit set me free. So we have horses coming through. That could be a special symbol or like year of the horse. And then here's 27. I feel you inside me and it drives me insane. I'm ready to leave and bring you balance. 14 justice. And here's you've made me feel alive. Um, thank you. Three joy. And then here is confusion. Number 15, we have grown. Wow. So this person is a big mix of emotions here. So I do feel like they recognize you as um, a very special person in their life. You know, someone who can um, really make them really happy with this joy card here. And someone who's very, very attracted to you as well. Someone who has just felt things with you that they couldn't even describe that they've never felt with anyone else before. And... Um, yeah, I feel like this connection has really <laughs> driven them crazy. Um, like, you know, they just wanted to ride out, drive out into the sunset with you. So, hmm, yeah, it's like they wanted to just run away with you, like leave, um, leave their old life behind. This, this has really confused them. We need some more clarity on this situation here. So if there was any separation, I feel like this person has noticed that you've become like deeper and more interesting. Um, like they've really noticed that you've made a lot of progress in your life. I feel like they're really impressed by that. And this is not surprising. I need some space right now because this person has been like on a roller coaster of emotions. Like they did not like understand what this is. Like I, this drives me insane. <laughs> Um, my soul already knew you long before I did. So here's this recognition of the special soul connection between you two. So even if they've never said it, I feel they definitely, definitely recognize that and feel that. And they needed the space to see if this connection was more than just like lust or something. Every song I hear reminds me of you. This could be a musical connection or they, you know, every time... Um, they hear a love song, you know, they're thinking of you, they can't help but to think of you. And here's, I'm not sure I can be who you expect me to be. So they, they feel like maybe you have this like image of them, you know, they like you have them on a pedestal or something. And they're like, I don't know if I'm ever going to live up to how you see me. I don't know if I can grow as that much. They do love how they feel with you, though, but it's very overwhelming. When I lost you, I lost me. So maybe they were going to, they tried to kind of take some space because they were feeling way too intense with you. And so at first, maybe they felt kind of relieved. But then after a while, like, then they just started feeling, like, drained and kind of depressed. Like, they were missing something huge in their life. And that could be why, like, all this confusion set in. And in this silence, I do love you. I do love you. I'm finally facing the karma of my actions. Yes, this is what's going on here. They've had to sit with by themselves and like sit in a room by them with themselves and understand um, that they couldn't just like leave this in the past and just forget about it. You know, like there's still unfinished business here. And here's um, I'm ready to. Um, leave and bring you balance so they might not necessarily have something they need to leave um, but yeah I feel like they, they are understanding that this things are off balance and something needs to be right, made right between you two but I feel if this person doesn't ever come forward to make things right with you then the universe will make things right for you um, as long as your intentions you know are in the right place like you're intending to continue living your best life and doing your best um, you know being in like you know um, improving yourself so that you can be of the highest service to the world, then you are definitely going to be looked out for. And 
provided for, including, you know, like a really beautiful partner if this person won't show up for you. Because this might have been like, um, hey, this is, this is, you guys are an awesome match. And, you know, we do have free will here. So maybe this person just wasn't ready to grow and step up to the task with you. And so it might be that, you know, if this person doesn't come back around, then the divine is going to prepare this other person to step in for you and it will be, you know, just as fulfilling or even more for you. So, you know, if you are like in separation and you're confused and worried, like things aren't going to worry, work out, well, there is going to um, be balance brought to the situation either with this person stepping up and, um, you know, facing the situation with you or if they won't, they're not willing to do that, it's going to be someone else who is ready to, who has grown and who will step in and face things with you. And here's, I've been crying over you. So this person feels like just, they don't know what to do. And there was a comment recently about how people were saying, or someone was saying that I was encouraging people to, to move on from their divine partner who they feel is their divine partner and I would never tell someone to move if you're at peace in a situation you're really peaceful about you know staying connected with someone I would never tell you to move on you have to do what's in your heart you do what your intuition and your God connect your God connection is telling you to do um these readings are just to help you out um, and some people need to hear just go ahead and move on um that can be very freeing for some people So, but if moving on does not resonate with you, then you don't need to take that whatsoever. That's why often we give warnings of like, you know, hey, this is a general reading. So you, not every single message that comes through is going to be for you. All right. So we also have, I feel trapped. Yeah, I feel like trapped in my own skin, like trapped in my own thoughts. Like I don't even know how to change. I see your value. So this is a big message like coming through that's like yes I do see you look I saw you I see you <laughs> please listen to my side so that they like wish that they could get across to you what's going on with them they don't know how to communicate it though I'm sorry I hurt you they do feel bad but they're they just like don't know how to do this kind of a deep relationship you are on the right path 17 angels are guiding you along the way so here's some encouragement coming through for you pile four that yes yeah, stay on this path and um you know there there will be justice in the situation and i want us to build up our lives even in i want us to build up we're able to build our lives up even in separation yeah that is definitely what should be going on here to and when you're building your life up that will help build a new like life for you a better life I got scared and ran away from you. The intensity of my feelings for you made me fearful. I'm sorry. That, that was definitely the story coming through here because these were huge feelings. Like dri driving them insane. Like they couldn't get you off their mind. I know that you are the other half of me. Yeah, there's no denying that. And you are the one I've been looking for. You complete me. Wow. Here's I'm feeling so jealous of all the people who get to be close to you right now. Here's please forgive me. So maybe one day some of them will be able to come around and say sorry for, you know, if they broke this off or something. Your soulmate connection. <laughs> yep. I feel like that's just what they want you to know the most is that yes, 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 yes. You are my soulmate for sure. I just haven't admitted it to you. And here's separation time apart from each other. So it's almost like they separated themselves from you because you guys are soulmates because they're like, oh my gosh, I'm not ready for this. And also they feel like if you guys are like true soulmates that it's going to work out. And look at this. Yeah, I'll pass lead back to you. So this is what they feel like if it's really meant to be, it, it will work out and you guys will be magnetically drawn back to one another like you were magnetically drawn toward each other in the first place. I'm sorry splitting from the deck. Wow. So I'm sorry. Please forgive me. love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. They could be praying about this. Here's healing. I know we can fix what is broken. Support. I want to be the one who stands beside you and assists in all your success.
Here's irresponsible. I can't keep it together and I know I've already screwed things up. So this is like the brighter and lighter side of them. And then this is like the darker side of them feeling like they don't have their stuff together. They could still be healing this broken heart. Here's sexual let's play. Yeah, for sure. This, there's a lot of um, sexual energy here. They felt maybe it would be irresponsible to maybe indulge that side. Right now, here's nervous. My anxiety is worse than ever before. I'm constantly worried and insecure. Here's I wish I could take back my words. I wish I could just take back something, something about the situation. So many things remind me of you. So many songs remind me of you. So many words. So they could be really thinking of you like every day. And I don't react when people mention you, even though they might be feeling a lot on the inside. And here's you don't know how hard it was to let you go. Here's see you soon. So this person could have intentions of, you know, wanting to see you again or, you know, wanting to talk to you again. I recognize myself in you. Wow. So big message here of just like what this person sees in you compared to everyone else. They, they know it's special. It's really shocking. It's like, it's like too much for them to handle because they've never felt that kind of a connection with anyone before. You are gorgeous. I feel like a lot of the deep soul connections they have with people are, um, you know, people like family, friends they've known for most of their life. Um, so, you know, that was something they were just kind of like growing up with and they haven't experienced like meeting someone and it just feeling so much like family and just so familiar and amazing. So it just really knocked them off their feet. Almost time. See you soon. Almost time. So for some of you, um, they could be, you know, coming back around to bring you this justice. And I've been reminiscing. They feel very sem sentimental over you, really starting to miss you. I read all of your messages, even if I don't respond. And I hate being so far away. Be long distance here. I'm going to pause this. I think I have to sneeze. Okay, guys. Interesting. Because um, I paused it on my timer. It was 117, 17, 17, 17. And then we have 17 here. So that could be um, a special number for some of you. It reduces to 8, 888, eight, 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 unlimited abundance. Strength as well. Um, they're overwhelmed by the strength of this connection. They see you as incredibly strong, probably like way stronger than them. So they're really intimidated by you. Please don't go. So it's like, um, you know, maybe they're not doing anything to keep you around, but it's like they also don't want you to leave either. I want you, but I shouldn't. Wow. So two cards that say I want you. And I effed up. So they know that they're the ones who messed this up. I wish you wouldn't push me away. But again, they understand why you would if you are. And I think you are out of my league. So yeah, they, they do feel like this intimidation. Like you're stronger, more powerful than them. And here's my intentions can be selfish at times. So it was part of the problem as well. They like just weren't ready for this. I just wish things were different. Do you think about me too? Yeah, I feel they're wondering if you still think about them, if you think about them to the same extent that they're thinking of you. Um, and here is love me. So this person really does love your love and it's like they want it and they crave it, but then it's like they, they can't like be there for it. And they're just like, I hope you'll still love me when I, you know, finally ready for this. I want to start a family with you. They definitely envision um, you being like their perfect mate and having a perfect life with you. But again, they, they just like aren't ready for this. And they, but they do feel if this is truly meant to be like true, truly ordained by God, that it's going to work out. And my life started when I met you. I came up. Yeah, I came alive when I met you. Um, your spirit set me free. So, wow. Yeah. They've never felt so alive. Um, 
Yeah, you've made me feel alive. You're like a live wire. Yeah, it's all this electricity of the fool. I'm ready. Um, okay, we still have a few more decks here. I numb myself to escape reality and my feelings. So this is someone who does try to kind of like deny their feelings and like kind of dumb down their feelings because they were like making other things important over their feelings. I'm sorry I lied to you. There's, I wish I could make you happy, but I need to make me happy first. This is part of the deal as well is like they just don't feel like they're in a place that would um, be good to share with you. I will always love you. Here's you've made me feel so much. I'm just so blown away by you. And I miss holding you. Or I can imagine holding you. I want to hold you. Why does everything have to be so hard? I'm so grateful for you. So I feel like no matter what, they're always, if they think back about you, they're going to be overall grateful for you, for the experience with you, for who you are. I see signs of you everywhere I go. So it's like the universe like might not be allowing um, them to forget you at all. Um, I feel like they're not going to be able to forget you until they do something to make this right. And if they don't, it's going to be like they're going to carry it with them the rest of their life. And what if you don't accept me for who I really am? Because they, they really don't feel like they are who you think they are. I want to talk to you again and make things right between us, but I'm so afraid that you'll reject me. And I'm really lost without you and full of guilt and regret. I hope that one day you can forgive me for what I've done to you. And I know in my heart that someday, somehow, we'll be together again. So, yeah, they really do feel like now is not the time, but it could be, you know, one day in the future. I'm really afraid that you don't love me the way that I love you. So they are afraid, like, maybe um, it was just, like, excitement or infatuation for you and it might just like die down and then they'll if they open up to you then and they open up to this love to you they could one day just be left by you and they they can't handle that they can't have their heart broken again because they could still be healing like another broken heart all right what else is going on here here's take it slow so i feel like this person just wasn't ready for this they need to take like things extremely slow <laughs> And help is on the way. Okay, so this could be encouragement for you. I do feel like, again, that this is like some divine intervention going on here to either kind of help reroute this person back towards you or to bring in, you know, a person who is ready to stand up next to you, who will grow with you, who will help you grow and inspire you. You can inspire each other and they will be more like on your level. Oh my gosh, something better is on the way. That's amazing, you guys. So for um, a lot of you, this this is saying like someone else is coming in um, or just something better in general that you're going to be so much happier with. And here is you are good enough. And, you know, if you're like uncomfortable with the idea of letting this person go, um, you know, you can just stay in kind of a balance point where, you know, just... Just be open to possibilities where, you know, be open to the possibility of this person um, coming back around and things working out between you two, but also be open to the possibility of, you know, someone even better coming in for you. So don't close off that possibility, you know, unless you feel like this is just right around the corner and um, you guys are in communication and able to work things out, you know, because if you are like current, a lot, most of you won't be talking to this person like they, you know, kind of just left, um, but for those of you who are in communication with this person, you know, that's, there's definitely a lot more hope for there, for that. So I'm not saying like you should try to move on, but for those of you who it's been like no contact and no sign of life for a very long time, that's when it's really time to, you know, think about um, opening yourself up to other opportunities. Because sometimes like as soon as you offer some sincere prayer for that, that's like someone can come in like lightning. Okay, so you just have to be ready to open the door for it. 
Let's see, how is this person like feeling about you overall? All right, so we have um, the, the Three of Coins, the Ace of Swords. Some of them might be trying to think of contacting you about working together on a project or just they want to find like some practical reason to reach out to you. They probably won't want to share too much about their emotions, but they might be really trying to figure out what's some, what's a way that you guys could work together or they're doing a lot of thinking about that. And here's the Queen of Swords. So they really are afraid you're going to reject them or you're angry at them right now. And they can understand why. So what might you expect from them in the next in the near future, the near next month or so? Here's Justice. Wow, Justice coming through here twice. This could be a Libra you're dealing with. Um, and the King of Wands. Could be like Libra Aries. And the World. And here's the Knight of Wands. I feel like this person is... Um, I feel like they really they really have their sights set on winning in their career because I feel like they, they want to accomplish something before they're ready to be with you. With the justice card here, I'm I'm feeling like this person, yeah, they're primarily focused on themselves in their career right now, but it's like it's okay because things are working out in your favor here, pile four. Like there is gonna be justice in the situation, like um, the divine is not going to let you just put in all of this unconditional love toward this person and receive nothing back in return. So if you have put out sincere and genuine love and like given with it without expecting much of anything in return, you know, the energy does come back to you. So I feel like you do have a lot of love coming back towards you, you know, if this person isn't ready to, um, you know, step up toward that. Okay, so I think that's all I have for you, Pile 4. If you don't feel like this was your pile, you can definitely choose another one. And stay tuned if you want to see the decks used in this video today. And if not, I hope I see you soon. Thank you so much, you guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, everyone. Here are the decks used in today's video. So this is the Tarot Grand Lux, which has been in a lot of videos um, in the past few months. This is um, a gift from Patty at Red Empress Tarot. And... Let's see. Um, these are, this is the Pocket Angel by Alice at Love Exists Visions. These are um, Charming Oracle Secret Love Messages. It's a good one by Sarah at Charming Oracle. These are Twin Flame Messages by Heal and Ascend Tarot. These are Bridget Rao deck. This is um, the Counterparts Oracle. This wonderful deck is the Hermit Tarot by the Hermit Tarot. And this is um, another Alice deck. This is the Romance. I think her Alice is Romance Oracle Volume 1 and 2 combined into one deck. And this is another Charming Oracle deck. This is Charming Oracle Love Messages. I really love her decks. And here's another Charming Oracle. This is um, Shadow Side Love Messages. And then another wonderful deck that I'm so happy to have here. This is um, Seasons of the Soul by Lumiere, the wonderful Lumiere. And this is the Counterparts Connections deck by Bridget Rao. This is the Hidden Truth by All Things Intuitive. This is um, Beyond Indigo Divine Union by Veronica at um, Beyond Indigo. It's another Bridget Rao deck here. This is, um, I love this deck. This is Soul Whispers. And I just love that she has white roses on there. Okay, Bridget Rao, this is Ocean of Emotion. And all these decks are listed below. Okay, so then the first deck that was out, another Bridget deck. This is the Journey of Love and Journey of Love 2 combined into one deck. And that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for joining me for another video. You are always so appreciated. Hope I get to see you again for the next video or on a past video. I have 
playlist linked below of many, many other readings. So past readings do apply if you feel drawn to watch them. Um, you know, they are, to all my readings pretty much on here are timeless. And even if you do have ones that are stamped with times, um, if you feel called to watch it, there could definitely be messages for you in there. Okay, um, thank you so much. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye.